I think I'd be less acceptable if I hedged. I really do. People will accept you. People accept everything. Just be you. Be you and clearly people like react. When you're trying to fake something and you've got bad intent, well then that's visceral and we hate. But I actually think we, we, we don't give love to the person that actually knows they have it and they're trying to fake it to conform. Hence why I won't adjust to this market all the way because I don't think I'll be respected. I know what my intent is. So why would I be scared? I want to build the biggest building in town. That's who I am. And you know how I want to do that? By building the biggest building in town. And a lot of people want to build the biggest building in town. And you know how they want to do it? By tearing everybody else's building down. Poverty is passed on. It's taught in your families. And middle class is taught in families. And so the people right now who are sitting at home <clears throat> who are struggling financially or worried about money or unhappy, they may be making a lot of money, but unhappy with what they're doing, it was probably taught to you. You know, your super ego was taught, get a job, work hard, or, you know, or you'll never be rich, or the rich are evil, or whatever. And until you change your mindset, Correct. money won't help you, right? Correct. And we see that with people that win the lottery, people that make more money, they still have the same problem. Right. Because they have that poor man's soul. Right. If you're poor, you'll always be poor. That's really hard for people to understand. Yeah, the money will disappear that fast. Just like most pro athletes, you know, they make millions of dollars and but 65% are bankrupt five years later. It's because they come from poor families. Now you tell them that, they get very angry. Not just a rich fault. You know, you guys ripped me off. And the government ripped me off. But unfortunately, what Mr. Lipton was saying, it's passed down genetically. That's the frightening thing. And it's interesting when you commit to something, little gifts just start automatically showing up. It's a phenomenal thing. It's happened my whole career. When I fully commit, somebody will bring me something. And then look, then keep your eyes open. And by the way, the package may come wrapped in a package you weren't thinking about. Hard work or like a voice or like a person or a, 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 you know maybe from a different direction than you thought or an offering where you're like you read something about this and that's not the thing like all throughout my career it's come in weird kind of ways if you ask for help and, and, and somebody shows up at the door may, maybe let, invite them in regardless of what the packaging is or what you've heard about it or whatever that's really been beneficial how old are you? 44. Think of, I'm 40. Do you know how young we feel? It's, when you were 26, did you ever think that this is what 44 felt like? No. You thought that that was finished? Yeah. How old are you? Like, you think a 40 year old, like, when I was 25 years old, I thought a 40 year old was finished. I don't even feel like I'm starting. Right? Yeah, but when I was 26, I was in a rush. I understand. And all of those guys and girls on the streets last night, they, when you say that to them, like their face kind of goes blank because all the stuff they watch, MTV, music videos, this, it's all about the bling now and the this now and the this now. You know, and, and MTV is tame. You start following people on Instagram and it's a disaster. They're all pushing like, you know, it's all about champagne and private planes and you can get it too and just sign up for my court. Like, and everybody's falling for it. So I'm coming out and I, first of all, I want to be historically correct. Nobody in a hundred years is gonna watch that video and say that I was full of crap. I like that, right? Number two, I, I want my legend to grow. I'm always fascinated by politicians and world figures. Like Winston Churchill, his brain continues to grow, right? I want that. When I'm dead, I wanna be in the ground at peace knowing my legend's growing. Like I want that. I want that in the business world. And so I'm giving real advice and real advice looks like this. When you're 19 and you can spend seven full years learning your craft, meeting people that are mentors, being patient, and you wake up and you're 26 years old, you have your entire life in front of you and you've done great foundational work to go on and then be successful. You know, I have bad luck too. I've, I've, I've had financial crashes. I've had people stab me in the back, but they're all good. 
because I grow from it. That's spirituality.